Rick Goodman hails from the community of Belt, Montana. Rick played three sports while attending Belt High School between 1967 to 1971. He was first named an All-State Basketball Player in 1970, and in the following year earned the honors of being an All-State Basketball Player, the state's most valuable player in the 1971 state tournament, and also an All-Conference Player for football. Rick attended the College of Great Falls between 1971 and 1975. While in college, he was named an all-conference player for the Frontier Conference while playing for the Argos four years in a row. He graduated as Montana's leading rebounder, a record he still holds today, 42 years after setting the record. After graduating from the College of Great Falls, 
Rick started off his teaching and coaching career in nearby Moore, where he had a seven-year tenure before moving on to Lewistown. He also coached and taught in Westby, Montana, in the extreme northeast part of the state, and also in Belton, Centerville. After teaching in a small town setting for two decades, he moved on to the Great Falls School District, where he eventually retired in 2013, after fulfilling a successful 38-year career. In 2007, Rick was inducted into the Argo Hall of Fame, becoming the ninth men's basketball player and the 11th member of the men's basketball program to be inducted. This spring, Rick Goodman was nominated and inducted into the Montana Coaches Hall of Fame by the Montana Coaches Association. Rick has coached thousands of young men and women around the state and fostered scores of student athletes who were able to carry their talents into a college setting. Rick Goodman's footprint isn't only measured in trophies, but in the Montana High School Association's archives and in the memory of those who have had the experience of being coached and taught by perhaps the sport of basketball's biggest fanatic. It was a process of uh, elimination and uh, uh, got interviewed here in 1975 and uh, fell in love with it was my first job. And The 1975 girls basketball team 
ended the conference with a seasonal score of 10 and 10. They took fourth in districts. The 1976 boys basketball team ended the conference with 22 and 5 overall. They were the first in the conference, the first at districts, and took fourth at divisionals. Seventy six, seventy seven team was the the first girl season I had from start to finish, and that was uh, you know two and a half hours of preseason uh, practice in the morning, two weeks uh, before school started. So it was you know like we've talked earlier was conditioning, defense, and the, and the fundamentals. So. Uh, you know those girls. Uh, uh, that first team in the in the fall was practices for five hours, five hours a day. You know, morning and night, and uh, you know they were they really improved. I think we got we got third in the district that year. Time keeps on slipping, slipping, slipping into the future. The 1977 boys basketball team ended the season with 15-1 overall score in the conference. They were the first districts and they lost out in divisionals.
The girls then played and lost to Grass Range 39 to 47. The Lady Bulldogs then recuperated with a swift victory against Winifred 42 to 28. A fourth victory followed suit against Denton 61 to 41. When it lost the district championship game and was eligible to be challenged by Moore. The Bulldogs secured a one-point victory against the challenge when it team, 39-38. The divisional tournament was filled with challenges as well. Moore won their opening game against Highwood, 44-39. Moore gained another victory and defeated Augusta, 36-29. Moore came up short in the divisional championship game, losing to Grass Range, 36-38. Moore was challenged by Turner but defeated them 37-32. Moore opened against the dreaded Manhattan Christian team at State and lost 44-53. Moore lost the following The 1978 girls basketball team ended the season with 25-2 overall. The Lady Bulldogs opened at the district tournament against Hobson and easily won with a 58-10 score. Moore won the consecutive game against Denton, 50-29. The Bulldogs took the championship district title away from Grass Range in a 41-21 game. At the divisional tournament, the Lady Bulldogs opened against Augusta and won 46-25. The following game was a close win for Moore, 35-31. The Lady Bulldogs claimed the divisional championship against Grass Range, 42-33. At state, Moore thumped Custer in the state opener. Moore ran up against the staunch R. Lee team, tailing by a point with 12 seconds remaining. Junior Laurie Simpson scored a field goal to give Moore a 38-37 victory. The Lady Bulldogs ended their amazing season with a score of 45-30 over Opine to secure the state title at the Lewistown Civic Center. <laughs> The boys' 1979 basketball team achieved a conference record of 
The 1979 team opened in districts against Grass Range and won 55-49. Denton defeated Moore in the consecutive game 63-70, and Moore lost out in districts against Winifred 53-58. probably similar to my ending, which was I was scared to death of Rick. I knew that he knew what he was doing and I didn't know what I was doing and I, I never wanted to disappoint him. So I was just scared of Rick. In football, uh, they saw that we were pretty good. And then once school started, uh, I saw in the grade school kids that basically what I had, what they had here, and I always wanted to to uh, build a program from the the bottom up with the grade school kids. And once I was here, the the fourth, fifth, and sixth graders, I could see that there was there was special talents you know, here, and it was kind of just to build a process of, of, of teaching and coaching them there. So, no, it was right, it was right in the, underneath me, and I kind of, kind of fell in love with what I had here, and uh, I, I knew that I was going to be here for a little while. The 1979 girls basketball team achieved a 16-9 conference record, which was second in the conference. They took second in districts and advanced to divisionals for the fourth year in a row, where they took fourth place.
took me under his wing, taught me everything about sports. And our relationship didn't end when basketball was over. Summer times, he took us to basketball camps. Um, after high school, he took me around the state looking for a college team that would give me a scholarship so I could go to school and play ball. After we got done with that, I traveled to tournaments with Rick, played with him, played against him. After that, I got into coaching a little bit, went back to Moore and coached for five to seven years, I don't remember which, trying to carry on Rick's tradition of, of good basketball teams. So that lasted for a while. And without Rick, I wouldn't have the knowledge or the know-how to get that done. You big disgrace, kicking your can all over the place, singing We will, we will rock you. A big disgrace, waving your banner all over the place. We will, we will rock you. Sing it out. We will, we will rock you. Buddy, you're an old man, poor man, pleading with your eyes, gonna make you some beast someday. You got mud on your face. Big disgrace, somebody better put your bag into your place. We will. Paid my dues time after time. I've done my sentence, but committed no crime and bad mistakes. I've made a few. I've had my shells and kicked in my.
he just prepared us. I mean, we, we did it all. You know, these Z drills and the defensive stance and the bulldog drill, stomping your feet for minutes at times, you know. And But then when you had to get in a game and he wanted you playing defense, you could just do your drills and get it done. A lot of my, uh, I would say, my leaping ability I gave to, I'll have to give to uh, Rick Goodman's training. Uh, he was always pushing us in practice. Um, he came up with the box, he had the leaper, all that stuff added to what uh, the physical, the God gift, I guess, I was given. But he, and he, he played us against those guys with, because he had the knowledge that well, that's a good team because he wanted to put us against good teams. He wanted us to compete. He wanted us to get better. That's what he was all about. He, and he had the knowledge. He knew how to make you better. But you had to be willing to, to, to take what he was going to give you. So I felt very blessed. I'm very thankful that I had Rick Goodman as my coach. I know he brought the very best out of me. He had a way of pushing my buttons. The last team that Rick Goodman ever coached at Moore was the 1982 boys basketball team. This team retained their 15-1 conference record just like the previous season. They were ranked first in the conference at the end of the season. The boys exploded in their opening game against Roy in the district tournament, winning 84-29. They then played Hobson next and won with a score of 68-54. The boys won the district title against Wunnett in a 69-43 game. The boys then swiftly progressed through the divisional tournament, carrying them to a championship game against Rocky Boy. The championship game was hard fought, with the Bulldogs eventually triumphing over Rocky Boy 68-64. Still undefeated, the Moore Bulldogs in 1982 won their opening game at State and the game that followed. Then, the Moore boys found themselves in a familiar spot, but lost the state championship game against Bridger in a classic game that ended with a score of 45-36. to Right now, the second half. Pat Wilson on the far side. Gets it to Todd Olsen. Back to Pat Wilson underneath. Well, you've got to play. Well, put it up. He misses it. Rebound controlled by Box Elder. Sable, no good. Sable back up and misses it again. Sable, third time. Knocked out of bounds by Josie. What a block by Josie. Crowder to be bringing it to you over the air on the facilities again of KLCM in Lewistown, KHCN in Hardin, KLYC in Laurel, and KMON, your originating station here in Great Falls. We'll go over these lineups very quickly again. It will be Holton, Whitman, Barta, Sylvie, George Whitman for the Moore Bulldogs. Tim falls down. Spotted Bear goes ahead. Cans and Randy falls down for the Warriors from Buddy Who through high school and prior. Rick Goodman calls timeout with the score. 22-20 and more. 14 and blocked it away.
Moore out with the basketball, trailing by three. 5.22 left to play, third period. George Whitman open at the middle of the lane, up and he was short on the shot. Olsen grabs the rebound, up no good. Bardick gets it, up, he missed it again. And finally on the rebound, a jump ball, no, Olsen gets it again, and finally he fouled. The Moore Bulldogs gave it everything they had. A great season, four more. Plenty Koo is the better team here tonight, and they won it. Final score again, Plenty Koo 63, Moore 53. Another turnover. Stars have it right now. Passer intended for Donovan Stump from Gans. Uh, Wu intercepted there by Whitman. So another turnover there. Active serious action here at the Shelby High School Gymnasium is first place to make that score.